Okay, last impression of uh, Bulgaria. It's great, I like it. Romania. Day one. I'm now going to these uh, salt mines. Obviously from the outside, it doesn't look like much because they're on the ground. So I'll be taking you there now. Holy shit, look at the size of this. It's just fantastically massive. Three kilometers under the ground. Took a bus about 50 minutes along these big caves. This is all salt. I think so, should I lick it? It's salt. <laughs> it's salty. <laughs> wow. So the temperature down here is about 12 degrees. So for the first time in over a month, I'm wearing a jersey. Uh, just going around this next corner. This goes on. Here we have a cafe. And some uh, So I came from over there. There was a little cafe and it just continues on along here so join me the sound of this place is very eerie i mean i just don't think i've ever seen or been inside something this massive bigger than any church bigger than any other building i can remember being in the proportions are just gigantic So I think uh, that's pretty much it for me today. Welcome to my salty mine. So that was fun. Uh, now I've got a 50 kilometer drive to Brand to Dracula's castle. Uh, 50 kilometers is gonna take two and a half hours. So just to show you a bit of the countryside here in Romania. I decided to get some lays but like it's it's like monopoly money it's like monopoly money there's just so much of it so good morning it is the first day here in Bran as you can see it's uh, beautiful summer weather <laughs> it's a bit weird being in the rain but uh, I'm here for Dracula so so Bran's a bit of a tourist town there's lots of activities here and uh, Lots of stuff for tourists, trinkets and stuff. I just gotta say, it's quite easy to um, think that maybe Dracula lived here when these motherfuckers, some local guy, looks like this. That is the Dracula castle. So let's talk about uh, the Brand Castle experience. It's right there. Okay, so number one, Dracula has nothing to do with it. During the communistic era, one of the guys who kind of ran it, owned it, um, the Communist Party decided uh, he was going to market it as a Dracula castle and uh, it was so popular that they just carried on. Frank Castle was actually in a perfect location to control the strategic trade routes. It sits over a valley and on the other side there's a big wall where the customs house effectively control this entire trading route 
and collect the taxes, which I think is the most important reason why we build such a big fort. It's not very comfortable. She doesn't seem to think so. It's designed to immobilize. So these, the, the policemen used to use in jails to move um, people around. Here we have a simple bed of torture. You will see there the comfortable handles right here. This simple contraption is an interrogation chair. So, um, okay, this place is really filling up now. You can see loads of people. So a lift was built out of the old well so that the queen who stayed here could um, get to her park. Unfortunately, she died a year after its completion. So it's only us peasantry that really get to enjoy it. I would have liked to see more impaling personally. Um, and uh, it's very touristy. Hey, I'm a tourist, so what can I really complain about? So I stopped on the side of the road at this little cap, well, side thing. I bought this, it's two liters of alcohol, kind of made me buy it. What is it? Collect a bit of honey along the way. Well, this is Romanian honey. No, no. So I've decided to uh, just keep on driving. Today I will be in Hungary already. So I am in Budapest, so like and subscribe and see where I am next. I want to buy my side.